Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and welcome to the channel. Today, what is my take on flea tick prevention? I know a lot of veterinarians on YouTube are pushing a lot of natural things, and that is great and fine, I like natural stuff. The thing is, for me, um, I see in general practice, I see a lot of sick dogs, and I see a lot of sick dogs from a lot of tick-borne diseases. Everything from Lyme disease, to Ehrlichia, to Rickettsia, these are all things that are spread by ticks. And ticks can be easily seen sometimes. Sometimes if they're in the younger states, the nymph states, um, or certain sexes of, uh, of ticks are incredibly hard to see and, and find on your dog. And it makes me worried that a lot of these doggies that are being bit by ticks, they're having a blood meal, they're staying on there for 45, 48 hours, they are transmitting the vector-borne disease and then they're falling off. Tick-borne diseases lead to all kinds of problems. And these problems can be long-term and lasting. And they just become so chronic. And some of these doggies need off and on antibiotics. They need steroids because now you have an immune-mediated problem from the tick-borne disease. And sometimes, like, we never clear the tick-borne disease. I, I see it pop up positive every single year. Or I have symptoms every single year. So that's why, guys, that's why I, that's why I encourage uh, flea tick medicine topically or orally um, studies show that it's incredibly safe and it really prevents other big problems from happening because unlike humans when we go out running through the grass in the forest in the backyard and roll around on our back because we don't do that too often but if we did do that we would then check ourselves over for ticks right I mean in in our in our little family when we go for a walk at night I will check my kiddos over and make sure there's no ticks on them and Unlike that, doggies don't do that. They just run inside and go to bed. And a blood milk can happen and then they can have a lifelong chronic disease or problem. And that is why if we're giving orals or topicals, we see a much better benefit in preventing tick-borne diseases because they can't have uh, an extended blood meal and that can't lead to the tick-borne disease being spread. Remember guys, you gotta have that tick on there for, we say, a lot of people say 48 hours. I'm, I'm sure it's a little bit shorter than that, but it's at least a day and a half to spread the tick-borne disease. Bare minimum, you should be looking your doggies over, your kitties over every night. But with that being said, with some of the, uh, the younger stages of ticks and the different types of ticks and different sizes of ticks based on their sexes, I would highly encourage you to do, uh, talk to your veterinarian, but do an oral or a topical flea tick medicine. Um, I do encourage it year round. There's a lot of evidence that shows that we can see ticks year round, but at least, at least in the summertime when tick season is at its peak. And yeah, guys, so talk to your vet about flea tick stuff. It is beneficial and I think it could help you out and keep your doggy healthier and safer longer from chronic debilitating diseases. All right, guys, as always, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. If you have any comments, you should post them below. You guys take care, bye.